Louisiana Beer Reviews Leg Biter Ale. Leg Biter Ale was introduced in 2004 and it was the first beer made by the Strongford Low Brewing Company of Northern Ireland. But this beer is actually brewed in the United States in Rochester, New York under contract. And on the website for Strongford Low, they say that they're looking for more people in the United States that want to contract brew their beer, if people would be interested in it. <clears throat> there are some other beers that they make on the, uh, in the uh, Strongford Low Brewing Company beer line. It's 4.8% uh, alcohol. It gets a B on Beer Advocate. The bros give it a B minus. Gets an above average rating on Rate Beer and a very fine rating on the Beer and Me. It uses a late added Cascade and Glacier hops. They don't indicate what kind of barley malt. And on the bottle here it says uh, authentic imported Irish ingredients and finished brewed in the USA. So they bring in ingredients in from Ireland. How, how much that means, I don't know. I did try this yesterday and earlier today, and I, I liked it. But I'm going to try to, you know, have an open mind with it when I drink it today and give it a rating. So here we go. Okay, lots of smoke coming out here. I bought this beer at Piggly Wiggly Grocery Store in Hammond, Louisiana. And this beer review is being made in Hammond, Louisiana. Okay. As you can see, it has a medium off-white head, sort of a root beer, root beer style head. The appearance under light is pretty clear copper color with a lot of carbonation, lots of bubbles streaming up. When it's not in a direct light, it's more of a brown appearance. The aroma is sweet, citrusy, citrusy, almost an orange, you almost pick up a, an orange smell. It's not a strong aroma, however. Let's give it the most important thing, the taste test. Sweet, almost a woody type flavor. It does have a quite does have quite a bit of hop bitterness with it. Um, more like what you'd say a standard bitterness. Uh, you don't really get any kind of floral or um, piney hops. It's just like bitter. Midway through the sip, you get that bitterness and it stays through the end. The mouthfeel is medium, and it finishes uh, refreshing and mostly dry. Well, let's say semi-dry. I'm going to revise that to semi-dry. Now, how does it taste? Well, I would rate this also a B minus. It's good but just so it's not terrific. It's interesting though I think it's worth a try. Uh, it's not ordinary. It's nothing uh, super duper or anything like that but it's worth trying. I'd like to try their St. Patrick's Ale that I also saw at the store. I'm gonna guess I'll eventually pick that up. Uh, it says full flavored Irish recipe. I would go with something more like uh, to describe 
leg miter. Instead of saying a full flavored Irish recipe, I'd say a fairly full flavored Irish recipe. Recipe. It's not super bold. But it's enjoyable enough. It's a uh, like it says, it's a US, it's a product of the United States, but it does use some imported ingredients. That's not saying much because, you know, Bush beer uses imported hops. Well, anyway, Les Aile Le Bon Temps Roulé, this is a good beer, but just so. And I'm going to end this by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans. The weather should be great for the parades that are remaining through Mardi Gras. Thank you.